Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is get right vector. Let's jump right into this. I'm gonna hit play, and we're gonna see a line trace firing out of the right side of my character. And if I rotate. It's always going to fire out of the right side of my character. Now we can ignore this cube for now because I'm going to use it as an example to show you it's always on the right side even if we rotate. So let's jump right into it. So the right vector, there actually is three nodes in order to find the right vector. Now what is the right vector? The right vector is a vector, so it's a three value x, y, z. That is the right of the actor, scene component, or the rotation we put in. It's a normalized value, so it's going to be between 0 and 1, and it's going to be in world space. A lot of stuff there. But basically, it's which direction is right when you feed it into something. That's it. So let's see what I mean by that. Well, let's look at my example. Here is my character. Now, here's an important thing to note. Right, in terms of world space, is going to be the Y positive axis. This is the back of my character. This is the front of my character. So let's go to the back of my character like this. If we look at our transform gizmo, we can see X going that direction. That's going to be forward. And we can see the Y going to the right, which is going to be my right direction. So the Y positive is the right vector, right direction, when we're inside of the engine. That's important to know because if you don't set up your character with this coordinate system, Let's say this was rotated. Then if I asked for the right vector, it's going to give me the correct value, the Y positive. But it's not going to look right in terms of my model because that's not the right side of my model. So let's go ahead and pull up some other information. Let's go ahead and print out something right here. So we're going to go ahead and do a print string. We're going to go ahead and hook up a print string here. And we're going to print out what the vector value is. Two right here. There we go. And let's hit play. And you'll notice it says one, negative zero, and zero. Remember it's normalized, so it's between zero and one. Right now, the right direction that I'm aiming at, because I'm actually at the zero point facing x positive, I'm a hundred percent right in that right direction. If I rotate my character, you're gonna notice the values change. And I'm going to become less right. As I'm facing away from right right now, it's basically going to become zero. I'm not facing right anymore. My right direction is basically not. It's zero percent right. And we're going to have a positive, we're going to have negative on the y, a zero on the x, and a zero on the z. And basically it's going to change as I rotate. So it's always going to tell me which direction is right based on my current rotation. And that is correct based on the current rotation. Let's go ahead and check out the scene component. Right now, I'm, this is the actor version. So if I plugged in an actor, which is my capsule component, which is the actor I'm using right here, it's going to tell me the right based on, well, the right. Another version is the scene component. Let's plug this in. Go here and here. We're going to get the camera this time. Let's plug in camera for the scene component and plug it in. Let's see what goes in here and here. And let's hit play and let's see what happens. Okay, so we're getting a number, so something's happening, but we can't see anything. Well, let's start it up over here so we can eject and we'll see why. Let's eject and let's look. Well, that's because my camera is here and the right of the camera is this direction where you can see the line trace, which goes out 4,000 units. And that's what it's going to be. Let's go ahead and look, for example, let's hit play and look down. Let's look like this. We'll go ahead and eject. And we'll look at my camera, and there you go. That's my right. So the right of my camera is going to be this way. Now, since I'm not rotating my camera, it's pretty much going to follow the same in terms of the rotation of my player. But that's something to keep in mind. The actor version is going to give you your base component here, your actor, and your... Scene component version is just going to give you based on your scene component itself. And they can be different. But you're always going to get back the right version. So, for example, my camera itself, for whatever reason, was turned. If you notice, it's following the correct 
indication forward x right right but if i had a rotated camera for whatever reason let's go with 90 like this let's hit play oops let's go back to here and hit play and we're kind of having a little bit of an issue looking but if i was to eject and we look oh lordy um, you'll notice there's my right and my right is actually almost basically facing down because my camera's rotated sideways and that's because I'm asking for right and the right in this case will be backwards and then my camera's rotating because my swing arm's all messed up so that's just something to keep in mind if you want valid values when you're using a git vector make sure it's lined up properly to the right is going to be our y positive one thing, let's actually finish up with the last one. The last version is our right vector with an in for rotation. It just simply takes in a rotator. In this case, I can plug in a get world rotation for my capsule component. I can plug this back into here. Ask it what the rotation is. And when I hit play, we're going to get the same result as if we were asking the actor. It's still to the right. And that's because all I'm doing is getting the actor's world rotation. Now I did mention something about my rotating box. So let's go ahead and actually my box, which isn't rotating, but it will be rotating in a second. Let's go ahead and set that up. Let me hook up my tick and my thing and let's hit play. And let's look at my box here. You notice the box is rotating. And even though it's rotating, the right version of the box, the cone indicates forward. So the right side of the box is always the right side even though we're rotating. And that's because again, it's based in world space. It's based on our coordinate system. So the right is going to be that direction right there. And it's going to always point to us which way is correctly right. So that is something to keep in mind. Let me. So our right is going to, if we zoom in and we do this, our right is going to be the right, forward is going to be forward, and up is going to be up. So that's why no matter what, as long as we are setting up our actors properly, we can use the vectors to get the right version. Now you might be asking yourself, well, okay, we have the right version. Can we get the left? You can't. Why can't we get the left? Well, it's pretty simple. You don't need to. The opposite of right is left. So what's the opposite of one? Well, negative one. And what's the opposite of negative one? One. Basically, if we take the right vector and we multiply it, we multiply it by a float and we do negative one, we're actually going to get the opposite. So if we're facing right and we tell it to multiply it by negative one, we're going to get back left. Let's go ahead and hit play. And if I hooked everything up right, we now have our left vector. Now, the one on the cube is still the right because I haven't multiplied it there, but my character is firing off to the left now because I've told to multiply by negative one. So there you go. If you want to find the left vector of something, ask for the right vector and multiply it by negative one. And that'll work for, of course, any of these nodes. That's going to go and wrap up our get right vector nodes. There's three different versions, an actor, a scene component, and then a base rotator. It's going to give you back a vector, an XYZ value. And of course, since it is a vector, we can always split, get back individual ver components and it's going to be normalized between 0 and 1 and if you actually want to use it like for example I guess I kind of forgot this but it's only going to give you back a sm very small value between 0 and 1 all I'm doing is multiplying by 4000 to get a longer distance if you need to get a distance like for example a commonplace is something I'm doing here let's say I want to do a line trace from the right to see if there's something blocking then I would say okay how far, let's say 100 units to the right of us is something blocking us. Do a line trace, get right vector. Let's delete that. So we'll go get right vector, multiply the vector by 1,000. So now we don't get a very small value. We get a very a value of multiplied by 1,000. And then we're going to go ahead and check that for our line trace.